Hey, ladies and gentlemen and everybody else. I don't know if we should start like that. So, Take two. No, that was great. Keep going. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't welcome even know it's okay huh? anymore. Welcome hey, guys, to welcome show. to the Valley Cast. Before we get started, I would like to listen to this submission for our intro. And we don't have a way to listen to it in real time. So you're going to hear it. And then we're going to go, wow, that was amazing. One, two, three. So. I just, when I hear when I see this, there's a lot of just like where I got where I got where I got where I got and where I got where I got where I got where I got and where I got where I got where I got where I got just like where I got where I got where I got where I got and where I got where I got where I got where I got and where I got where I got where I got where I got and where I got where I got where I got where I got and wow wow that was wow so good I love that and we always and thank you for your submissions wow that was great that was great it's a little hard submit. You can submit over at uh, reddit.com slash r slash the Valley Folk, or you can submit uh, at uh, the Discord. Can people submit on the Discord now? I'm, I don't I'm think, sure they could. I guess, but, but it we wouldn't get to us. But the Reddit's the best place. <laughs> yeah. The only place. So you can no. honestly so that's submit no. anywhere you want. You can kind of do want. whatever you want, yeah. <laughs> Whether we'll see it. Is... You could mail it to us. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's good. Guys, welcome to the show. Anyway. We're uh, we're doing another early morning one. It's uh, we usually do the afternoon or some shit, and that's always a fun time. Uh, but doing early gives me like a little bit of anxiety because it's like I, you know, my sleep schedule sucks, and it's like I don't know if I'm gonna go to bed at ten o'clock or three o'clock. Like it and just, I don't know how much Fall Guys you're gonna play in between those two right, time periods. Right, and I and I try to go to bed. I try to go to I try to be in bed by midnight. That's like my thing. I I like to be in bed. It's your it's your mile marker. Yeah, I like to. I don't always get to, but that's my goal. And so at any given time, I'll either be in bed by midnight, but sometimes won't fall asleep until like three, or I'll go to bed. I'll go into bed at ten, and then I'll sleep through the night and wake up at like what seven you're saying feel great. is that you want to be horizontal in comfy town starting at 12 whether or not you fall asleep and how long you are just scrolling on your phone is up for debate yes and it changes screens every night. yes but screen you, screen screens yes that's, that's right. right that's right it's like it's like that old bob dylan song screen 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 or that song that goes it. screens Three screens, <laughs> phone <Yeah>. screens. <laughs> um, when when Makes, I'm in bed, bed at midnight, yeah, I will always look at my screen. Screen. <laughs> yeah, that was on cardboard boxes. Yeah, uh, cardboard castles. <laughs> it was on. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson's hit? Ah, yeah. <laughs> confusion, but it makes me get three screens. Makes me want to screen. <laughs> In that, bed at midnight that, that, now, that, it makes me want to scream. That was a cool yeah. video. Remember that video? Dude, and Janet yeah, was, really was so rad. hot in that fucking video. Ooh, my my pubescent. I couldn't tell. Was I? Were we pubescent? Yeah, yeah. It was like 93. Four, maybe ninety five. That they did screen. You guys were pubescent. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> so I just needed to. Sorry, Elliot. I know you tune out when we talk about cool shit. So I wasn't really. Sorry, yeah. To you. No, it's uh, <laughs> Elliot Morgan is yeah. notorious for tuning I've, out. I've heard talk stories. About Janet Jackson. <laughs> When we talk about Michael Jackson, well, it's okay to tune that out. I mean, I didn't really want to bring up Michael Jackson. Joe brought up Michael Jackson. I I went to the video and immediately to Janet because Michael's had the limelight long enough for however you feel about him. Janet, it's time for Janet. too long. How do you feel about him, Steve? Well, if I could get into it, if if you guys don't mind. I'd love if you did. Um, (laughs) Elliot's just going to tune out. Um, oh shit! I want to get into a hot, controversial talk on Michael Jackson, dude. Hey. Janet Jackson's late '90s run, like talking about your your coming of sexual age as a young man. She was so the she music was, was great. The music videos were amazing. Right. She had this like group of friends. She had an entourage that she was hanging out with that they like manufactured for her for that that run of videos. Someone was always but holding her music. boobs. She That's always had true. someone holding her boobs, right? Um. She had a boob no, I mean, I, a think, I think the reason yeah. why I think the reason why you're thinking that is because she is most known, I, unfortunately or fortunately, for the the Super Bowl boob mishap, and then she did like the 
um, the cover of the magazine where she were, were wasn't it Justin Timberlake? Oh no, Justin Timberlake was part of the nipple gate thing. The she had she was on the cover of a magazine and someone was holding her bare breasts. And that, it was Michael I, Keaton's hands. It was Michael yeah. Keaton's hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could you imagine? You I remember. Think, I, we could Google it, but I'm pr- I don't think that was in response to that. Event. No, no, no. But that, it was all that cover way early. Right, right. I didn't mean to yeah. make it seem that way. What I meant to, to make it seem like was is that in her career, she kind of did risque things kind of like that. And uh, that might be why you're thinking she was known to be holding her boobs all the time. But. Um, that was just kind of like the most forward facing news about her all the time, you know, because she was when I was that age, though, when I was that age, I thought every girl I equated them to just walking around holding their boobs. Right. That would have been around the time that I was pretty right. What you guys would what you guys would have referred to as pubescence to, I guess. to the point where I was <laughs> hormonally like, dr- horny. To the point where I was like, I, like most kids were like, I can't wait to see my first boob and touch my first boob. My thing was I can't wait to hold my first boob because of was Jan- it? because of Janet Jackson. No, no, no. Like that's a chalice. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Just from underneath. Um <laughs> Janet Jackson's I think it's ridiculous. discography. I mean, maybe wow. it's not ridiculous. She's got but... such good music. Oh yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Um so anyway, uh what was I going to say? Um oh, so my sleep schedule is so crazy and um and we we did an early morning show the last time we all did the show last week. We did it on a Sunday, which was kind of interesting, um, which I'd never like to do again, by the way. I don't know if this is in too inside baseball. Sunday but podcast. <laughs> if we got to do it, we got to do it. But I'd prefer not to. Uh, but anyway, so we're doing another early morning one. It's like, well, you know, Joe, early morning. Steve it's would 9 prefer not to do the. Steve would prefer not to do the early morning podcast. No, no, so. no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Just oh. so I'm trying to make oh. it look like it's a Brady Bunch thing, but I forgot oh. you guys have different configurations. <laughs> no, no. I, I, t- <laughs> hey, Joe. Steve yeah, you're looking a, the complete opposite way from everybody right now. Yeah. <laughs> like <you're ignoring laughs> <you've> been- <laughs> Ryan will fix it in post. Yeah. Ryan will fix it. Hey, Joe. Ryan will make it work. Um, No, no. Just to be clear, I don't mind doing early morning shows. I I didn't like doing early Sunday. Because you're at church. But if I, yeah, Yeah. it's it's the Lord's Day. I'm at church. I'm praying. I'm focusing on my prayer and and God. And um, I just want to be able to, uh, I mean, if we have to do it, I'm in. But. I'd prefer not to, but we're it's doing the Lord's Day where Steve listens to early 2012's hit artist Lord's entire album. That's right. Back so, track to track to track to track over and over again. Right. And I sync it up with the South Park episodes where Randy is Lord. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, is that we're doing this kind of early. And for us, hey, Goose, why don't you shut the heck up? That'll teach him. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be the one thing that does it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't name your dog a bird. Hey, you know what? Give, I know. Give that it's dog sacrilegious. what for, Elliot. Sometimes you just need to give a dog what for. Uh, but anyway, I'm just, the, point, two. the point I'm trying to make is, is that we're doing this kind of early, and kind of early for us is embarrassingly not that early. But again, time is doesn't exist anymore and sleep is all fucked so it's just you know i just wanted to inform it's a little early i would have done earlier i like it really yeah fan but like i like to go to bed to get me up what time you go to bed elliot uh i'm usually in bed by i mean i play the past couple days i haven't told y'all this i've been playing fall guys for about (laughs) 20 hours a day what the fuck elliot Listen, listen, listen. Are you I know, good? This is my Are you topic. good now? Listen to me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't. I'm not bad. Hold listen. on. I'm going to let you listen. finish. But, Joe, you uh, can't yeah, gloss you gotta over let me this. Finish. You can't gloss uh, over this. No, no. I know. I don't think I'm he not... is glossing. No, you're, no get into Joe, a... you're glossing over it. You're like, are you doing good? <laughs> no, 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 no. You keep... Go ahead, Elliot. But we got something needs to be well, said here. I'm okay. First of all, my girlfriend and I have gotten relatively into it. She has anxiety about wearing a headset and feeling, you know, she's a very private person. And so we've just kind of been practicing on our own with the intention of just starting to play with you guys again and then make it seem like I still had no idea what I was doing. Oh, and that way I'd I be see. so good that it would be like, oh my gosh, what a fun moment. 
but um, it's, it would be wouldn't be that fun. And also, I'm I haven't gotten good enough to justify it. Like you wouldn't notice. It wouldn't be well, like I, my I, skills have an exponential. Okay, okay, well, but I, I am excited to play I again. Appreciate... We told you you'd love it. Uh, here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you were right. I. I I knew you were going to love it and that's what that's the part that feels a little like a betrayal because I feel a like betrayal. Yeah, because I feel like you went into loving it on your own and not enjoying that loving it with us and but to be fair, I think it, sh- it should be known that we don't always stream. Sometimes we don't stream and then we're all just like chilling and having a great yeah, time. Yeah, no. I'm down. I'm down to do it. But I don't know if you're aware of that, which means that you, also, you can drop sometimes, you, you, you have to come. I'd like to back up to this betrayal thing. <laughs> oh, well, it's it, <laughs> well, because when we when I had you on the stream and Ryan, if you want, you could cut in some clips because we've been capturing all the streams and stuff. Look, we're, we're watching Elliot now. <laughs> Elliot, oh. How you doing, buddy? Keep going that Wait way. <laughs> You're gonna do it, Elliot. Go straight. Yeah, you're doing great. Wait, wait, wait. Go to the left side and and dive. Di- and dive. Okay, well. No. <laughs> well, do you know the square <laughs> dive? You oh, damn the left side. This way. Yeah, go Makes that way. So happy. Oh, <laughs> Elliot. When Ryan, had... don't you dare! I'll come after you. I'll fly to Oregon right now. We... <laughs> I'm coming for Ryan, it. please uh, cut in the the co- commercial from Elliot's past when he's dancing. Wait. Right now. Wait, but cut it in, but, because I can. But superimpose it into the shot of the T one thousand coming out of the fire from Terminator <laughs> Two, <laughs> and have Elliot just dancing through the fire from Terminator Two. Oh. Now, Ryan, stop <laughs> editing for five minutes. Take a break. Take a deep breath and uh, maybe get a snack. And just remember that, you know, you're a good person. And you're a good person. You know, sometimes you just got to give yourself a break. OK. And um, and before you sit and midnight. before you sit down, Ryan, to get editing before again, you sit down, Ryan. three spins and pray, mm-hmm. spins. pray to the Lord below and say, I will never let words enter my pyramid. <laughs> Now pick up that banana and wing it at the wall as fast as you can. Mm-hmm. As hard as you can. And then do, <laughs> then do two cuckoo clocks where you put your arms in the 12 o'clock position and you go, cuckoo, cuckoo. It gets you the blood flow. two flung. times and then you're good to go. Yeah, it gets the blood now flow. scream the name of the one that you let get away right yeah. out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And and channel your inner future and yell the name of the person you marry ten years from now. Just let it out. <laughs> this is like a an improv game meets like deep dark therapy. It's actually a very fun idea. Welcome to improv therapy. <laughs> All right, relive the trauma of your birth. So Elliot, the now bitch- apologize to yourself and say you are okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the last thing your mom said to you? Um, um, oh, so no, listen, no, listen. It is addictive. It is addictive. I got addicted. Now I'm kind of out of it. I, you missed the window. Oh, great. Well, addicted. there it no, is. I do so there's like where the betrayal kind of comes in. Remember when you were like, "What's this betrayal?" You got word? into it before I did. How is that not a betrayal too? Well, well oh, double betrayal. Betrayal. Well, actually, behind backy stabs. I mean, we could go back through the text and check the receipts, but I'm pretty sure when it came out, there was like a there was like a general text that was like, "This game is very fun. Everyone get it. We're gonna play this." How did you know it was fun, Steve? Because I the literally the day it came out, and and by the way, the fact this game didn't just come out of you nowhere. Would do by anything, the, way. the fact that you would do anything without me physically by your side right now is inexcusable. <laughs> That's true. Also, general text. If anything, right now, we need to all be coming together and fit close, close. Physical yeah, yeah. Well that's, what, well, that's why I feel like the, it, it feels being close when we play Fall Guys and, and more so when we're off the stream because when we're on the stream, it's effectively work and we're in the zone and we're trying to entertain you and all that shit. Um, but wonderful. when we're not streaming, it's literally like we're all in the same room just playing a stupid game together. 
And I love yeah, that it. feeling and I love it and I think it's so fun. And I also think it strengthens um, you know, that that like really weak social muscle that we need to also be able to make shit. You know, like I really think it's important to like Elliot's weak social muscle is his biceps. Just so you know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, dude, you. If I go to a party, my biceps are like off in the corner doing their own thing. They're like, yeah. just not paying anybody. attention. Steve, I agree with you, ninety-five percent. I think five percent of your angst regarding this issue are uh, Elliot played with your toy without you knowing. <laughs> no, no, it's I, I. I love Elliot going off and doing his own thing, one hundred percent. I'm upset about the lack of the of us all doing it together. I I just want pa Elliot to be a part right. of our fun together. So I'm I will, but if it's between me and my girlfriend playing together and us both getting better at the same time and having like a fun mm, evening mm -hmm. together that isn't on the live stream, I will I will do oh, that. Of course, of course. Of, Ooh, of course. Follow up but question. That Elliot. said, she's oh, no, getting no. really good too, and I'm hoping Ooh. I can get her on the the stream. Well, I can't wait. Even off all. stream, it would be great. We'd have a great time. Like We'd all have a great time. We'd had Sarah, um, um Sarah, um, God, I always want to say Claudio. Sarah and Whittle. Claudio. Sarah Whittle. That's right. Sarah Whittle comes yeah. on and plays with us, and Shane Top and Matt Robb, and it, it's just like, and then um, like you know, only four people can good. play at a time, but we like we'll even do two games going on at once with like some people in the other game, and but we're all in the same party, and we're all just hanging out. It really kind of has like major VidCon VidCon hotel room vibes. Oh, that's it's fun. Good, yeah. It's good hangouts. Um, uh, DeFranco plays sometimes. Anna Lori. Um, Mike. Yeah, Anna played. We we have some we have some good Mike hangouts. and two, Malcolm. Two, two things, Elliot. Oh, Malcolm too. Uh, one, Grace doesn't need to worry about. Uh, Steve's the only one ever on camera. It's all just audio, which is nice. Um, so you just get to play and have your headset on. And then, secondly, uh, follow up question for you: Have you have you got your first crown yet? No, I've only made it to, uh, and that I will want to be on on stream if Hell it seems yeah. like we it's got to get it on record. Uh, come close, but I've only gotten to the crown land twice. Um, Feels good though. I, huh? I I I cannot beat slime climb. Uh, you will can't finish it. You will. Yeah, slime there's been a couple a... times where I've come close. I actually think I came closest when we were first doing it. Um, but slime climb, that's pretty much a, 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 a done deal for me. But boy, do I love the whirly, the whirly <laughs> gig, huh? How fun is that little Dude, guy let me knocking you around? Let me tell you the tale oh, of, of Brett Register, who, um, doesn't play platformer games, which are the type of games where you have to use 3D Mario. camera angles, Mario, to like jump from things to things and, um, platform, that's a platform, platform, some game. would say. Yes. To, from platform huh. to platform. And um, I take you as sort of a similar person, Elliot, not much into those types of games. I mean, I'm not much into games at all, but I kind of like the camera when you get the hang of the kind of gyroscope right. feeling of it. Um, so, but it is the hardest part of it. Yeah, so Brett, I, Brett, I feel like you and Brett share similar like kind of gaming skill levels. And Brett was like really terrible at first and frustrated and hated it, but also got hooked to it. Um, I do get pretty frustrated, yeah. Yeah, but he the point I'm trying to make is is that he like eventually like he played it so much that he got really really good at it and now he like regularly wins crowns all the time and uh he didn't before for a, for a while and he was like really bummed out about it and he was like fuck I want a goddamn crown and then he just played it enough and got really good at it and uh I I believe I'm that you're going to do you're going to get there. You're gonna I'm get some there. crowns. I'm getting there. Um, I was We're telling... taking the PS4 to Palm Springs in like yeah. a couple hours because that's how Fun. bad the addiction is. And releasing Sorry, it into the it? wild. You're gonna release <laughs> yeah. the PS4 just out into the desert. Well, your PS4 uh, doing deserves a it. Funeral in the pool. <laughs> your PS4 needs uh, a vacation too. <laughs> it does, yes, doesn't, it does. that doesn't everyone and everything. Yeah. I was telling Steve, I think it was it might have been on the podcast, one of the previous ones, that Fall Guys is basically an indicator species for your emotions <laughs> where it lets you know how you're truly feeling on the day. Like yeah. you don't know what your subconscious layer is until you go in and you play Fall Guys. And after like two rounds, if you find yourself just like fucking screaming <laughs> at the screen because you got bumped off into fake slime and your little fake bean died you're like oh i have anxiety and anger and sadness today and maybe i shouldn't play this but then other yeah. times you'll get bumped off and you're like it's fine that was fun it's cute on to the next yeah. round right yeah i uh 
I was trying to win the you know uh, infamous slime climb level yesterday, and I didn't. But we kept watching for a second to see other people play, and one guy made it right to the end. And somebody pushed him, knocked oh, him into the, oh, the slime. Oh, oh. And I was like, if that happened to me and I had never made it to finish slime climb, I was like, I would throw this controller at the TV. And I was like, I need to get a hotel tonight. I would need to like leave and not be around anybody. And I was like, oh, that's probably not a good. I'm probably a little edgy. I'm probably a little raw around Dude, the edges it, if that's the case. And, but. It, and it wasn't like that at first. Like people were learning how to do it and, and like learning how they were trying to figure out all the levels together. And it was yeah, like, it was more fun. of like a, let's all figure this out. And once people figured it out, then they were like, all right, well, how do I fuck with people now? And like, yeah. how do I satisfy yeah. my masochistic urge to be the guy everybody yeah. hates or, you know, something That'll like that? That'll make me feel less l lonely. Or, yeah. But then every right. now and then I do kind of grab somebody in front of me just to make them feel a little something, something. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's and not appropriate. <laughs> either, but I'll. Uh, oh, totally. I'll, I'll do it, too. Oh, I mean, you do man. it a little bit. Like, I've never been the guy that's, like, standing at the end of Slime Climb pushing people off the fucking edge after making it through that fucking insane obstacle well, course. Yeah, and I got a question. Who are these last four to six people who take forever to join the group? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. You know what? There are people that are taking their time and making it through because that's the best way to do it. Like my biggest advice. No, no. I mean, when you're before you play, where it goes fifty four. Oh, and you're just stuck 60. at fifty four before it gets to oh, fifty five. Oh, 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 I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, who are those guys? People with bad internet connections. Uh, but dude, it's so interesting how it can totally like. Like you guys said, make like make or change your like attitude also after you've like not won a crown or won a crown. Like I've I've yeah. when when we play with the groups, there's a mix of like people feeling kind of bummed out when they're done playing or feeling like pretty stoked about winning some crowns. Yeah. And even myself, I've had like really bad nights where you just don't get a crown at all and you're just like trying so hard and you're just stumbling and you're tired and you're like, I can't do this anymore. Like I I've gone I've turned it off and just gone to bed feeling like bad. And it's like that's it's, not that's when things start to not be okay. Well, bad. there's a lot of things that are absent, <laughs> what you know. Happens? There's a lot of like parts of life that are absent in right now with the how we've been quarantining and we're yeah. not interacting the way we used to and you know, I think co competition that that general sense of competition is something that has been lacking for everybody. So this kind of like is filling that gap and it's uh, I hate to use, I'm gonna use the phrase. It's like the perfect game, and you get frustrated because it makes you feel it's hard enough and it's difficult enough that it makes you feel accomplished, even though it means nothing <laughs> if you get to a crown. And you've yeah. seen that other people have done it, so you're also yearning for it. So you want to be on the same level, and you know it's a children's game. So as an adult, you're like, I I gotta I gotta get a crown. Otherwise, what what the you're fuck nothing. am I doing with my life? And you're nothing. You are <laughs> yeah. nothing. I mean, you. We can. If you can't get a crown, you're nothing as a person. We can and say you need to know that, and it, I feel that. And you can say it's a children's game, and we do say it a lot. But it's like you know, you could say that about any game, really, except for something like Last of Us or like Grand Theft Auto, right? But even then, to a degree, they're children's games. But you know, I mean, we Sarah had the best. Sarah had the best tweet about it, where she was like, "Claudio just won a crown, and we both jumped up and down like it <laughs> meant something." Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like it yeah, actually I, meant I, something, I, and it's like, yeah, it does. Like you, yeah. it does. That's the absurd part. You like even I don't know what it feels like to win a crown. I can only imagine. But when I <laughs> qualify in any way, I'm like, I'm I can I'm capable. Like I can make yeah, things happen. I'm telling I, I you, it. it's a snake. I can move the it's, dial. It's a snake you're constantly chasing. Yeah, oh yeah, you get one crown, well, you I, want two crowns. Right, yeah. And the system is perfect in the damn game where it keeps you playing with the the gifting of of new costumes and stuff because yeah. there's the there's the crown versions of it which is like, "Oh my god, I'm like I'm in the 1% part of the right. bourgeoisie. I got something to shoot for. It's capitalism." And but they're giving you just enough like consolation prizes in the kudos, like their <laughs> their currency, that it still feels like you're building when yep. you're losing. It's perfect. Right. It like the the way it reels you in is amazing. Uh, Good for it's them. just the right amount of rewards for your brain. Yep. Yeah. 
that validation. And that also, false validation. like, but yeah, I wake can't, up at like, like seven. We can't like shit on people. I mean, not not that it's shitting on people, but like, it, it it's funny that you're like we just Sarah's tweet is funny because it's like. Of, like how like what a ridiculous thing to celebrate in such a in such a huge way over a video game but it's like we we have to take the small pleasures and like treasure oh, for sure them right now <laughs> and we and, no, and I know. I'm, anything, I'm on the side of sarah yeah, yeah yeah not not to say that anybody is it's just that i i need to drive the point further that like if you find joy in something so small that you think people will make fun of you for, or it's like not genuine enough, or it's not, it doesn't, it shouldn't be something to celebrate, then like fuck all that. Cause like if it feels Even good, it, we need it. You, you, that's something that everybody needs and deserves. Yeah. But it's also though, not to, it's six, it's 60 people that you're playing against. Like, right. If, I don't know what game that if I was one out of 60 that I won, I wouldn't be like, like that's going like trivia. Like if you go to trivia at a bar, uh, you know, back in the day, but in the olden times, and you won out of like sixty people, you would be feeling amazing. One hundred percent. Partly because you'd probably be intoxicated, but it's the same idea. If you're, that's a big competition. Totally. One out of sixty people, you deserve a crown for that. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and it, it does harken back to the to those types of feelings of like winning some kind of trivia contest or something or. Or or some work contest you know, or something. It's great. Yeah. It's great. You know what else I'm, is kind of I, I get it now. Yeah. What else is kind of like nice about it? And I guess I haven't thought about this or, or said it out loud yet. Is you know, the, like you said, it's sixty people. You're close. It's on a subconscious level. I, I do believe it's like you feel like you're hanging out with a big group of people, which is another thing that we need, even though you're not talking to them. But there's also something to the fact that it isn't like a. It isn't a realistic looking like shooter type game. Again, it's, it's like squishy, it's cuddly. It's, yeah, it's it's like inherently innocent and fun, and it's and like let's get from yeah. let's get from start to finish, you guys. And at the end, someone gets a crown. What a, what a world! It's great. It's beautiful. Um. Yeah. So, I've uh. It, can we? Can I jump in? Should we do ads or should I? Can I jump into something I wanted yeah, to talk about? Let's kick it to some. Uh, let's kick it to the sponsors, which help keep this train going. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys want me to go first? Go I'll for go. it. Go Elliot. for it. You. Well, guys, welcome to the ad portion of the show. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Upstart. Upstart, you guys, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful online lending platform that knows you're more than just a credit score. During these economically turbulent times, everyone's looking for a way to feel more financially secure. I know I am. So if you're still needlessly throwing money every month at high interest credit card debt, maybe it's time you checked out Upstart. Now is the time to find out how long your Upstart rate can be, uh, about how low your your upstart rate can be to help pay off higher interest credit card debt. So unlike other lenders, Upstart can reward you based on your education and job history in the form of a smarter rate. You don't need a degree or diploma to apply though. Upstart lets you skip going to the bank because it's completely online. That's very convenient. You can stay home. They offer loans from $1,000 to $50,000 so you can consolidate your debt into one easy fixed rate payment. Upstart makes it fast and simple to check your rate. Since it's just a soft pull, it won't affect your credit score. Soft pulls are very nice sometimes. The hard pull is what happens if you accept your rate and you proceed with your application the best part if the loan is approved and accepted most people get their funds the very next business day very quick very convenient over 400,000 people have used upstart to pay off credit cards to meet their financial goals free yourself from the burden of high interest credit card debt and get back to using the money your your money your way with Upstart. So see why Upstart has a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot and hurry to upstart.com slash valleycast to find out how low your Upstart rate can be. Checking your rates may only only takes a few minutes. That's upstart.com slash valleycast. And don't forget to check out their Trustpilot 4.9 out of 5 rating. That's upstart.com slash valleycast to find out how low your Upstart rate can be. Those were words. Good job. Actually, those are the type of words and the type of read where I felt like I was learning. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, there we go. There's some stuff Did it, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it probably came off that way, too, because I also was like, huh, okay, yeah. Like, right. oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> online uh, is cool. You did great, buddy. <laughs> Check Thank out this you. segue. Speaking of friendly competition, guys, did you see that football came back last night? What? Did you? Steve, your reaction no. is disingenuous. It came back, and I'm excited. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Rams are at SoFi, right? The Rams or whatever that uh, no, it was, is. Uh, we $5 had, uh, billion. The, the Chiefs coming back. It was great. Um, and everything went well, and we won't talk about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. But it was a fun game, and it's good to be back. And now I would like to talk about um, DraftKings. So, uh, lucky for us, last night was just week one. There is no better place to get in on that week one and every week after action than DraftKings, the leader in one-day fantasy sports. To add to this week's excitement, DraftKings has millions of dollars in total prizes up for grabs. If you haven't tried DraftKings yet, head to the App Store now because you don't want to miss this. You get to draft your lineup now and feel the sweat like you've never felt before. Every run, pass, and catch means more with DraftKings. It's simple. You pick a lineup, you stay under the salary cap, and you see how your team stacks up against the competition. Nothing adds to the excitement of watching the game quite like having a shot at a million dollars worth of prizes. I think that would be... That's a point across everything. <laughs> Everything's a little bit more exciting if you have a chance at a million dollars. Except for, no, it don't make it better. DraftKings has paid out billions of dollars to winners since 2012, so they know a thing or two about cold hard cash. Download the DraftKings app now and use code VALLEYCAST for a limited time. New users can get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes this week and the weeks after. So don't miss out on week two action. Enter the code VALLEYCAST to get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. That's code VALLEYCAST, only at DraftKings. Make it right. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Uh, I'm going to do this for the first time because I've always been interested. And I will I'll report back and let you guys know how it went. I love really? how I'm you're, excited to hear out one too. You sounded like a radio commercial at the end. I like that. Boy, we're prohibited. We're never, you know, whatever that. Like, part <laughs> Five dollar deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. So <laughs> for details. Um, my quick time video stopped, so I'm doing a slap for Ryan again because I started a new one. But guys, while we figure that Ryan, part do out, do a slap back. Ryan, please slap back. Slap it back, Ryan. Um, hope you're slap safe, back. Ryan. You're in a scary part of the world. Hey guys, let's talk a little bit about yep. Bespoke Post, huh? How about that? As we settle into this Hell new yeah. normal version of summer, Bespoke Post is here with customized Box of Awesome collections for guys. Guaranteed to upgrade your life, everybody. And that's me. Right? I, I, I love Box of Awesome. We got a big awesome one at the office before in the outside times. And there was like cool leather items and knives and and flashlights and fancy coffee grinders and like it's it's all sorts of like really stylish stuff that you get delivered just uh, to your door and it's like um, stuff that like maybe your friends would be impressed to see on your countertop arranged accordingly when they enter your apartment or a home. Yeah, it's, it's like, like those... all that stuff that as a guy you want like when you see you're like I want to be that kind of guy. It's like back in the day post. when you would read a magazine and the magazine would be like, look at all this cool stuff that you should have as a guy. And you're like, that's cool, but I'm not going to order it. You don't have to because they just send it to you. That's right. Where do I even begin? They'll send it. And everything is guaranteed to upgrade your dang life, like we said, because they send guys the best stuff every month, no matter what you're into. Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to oh. barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. And uh, to get started, you just take a quiz on the boxofawesome.com. I'm sorry, at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. And then they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. And it's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel any dang time you want. And each box costs only 45 bucks but has over $70 worth of gear inside. And it's super fancy stuff, guys. You should just go check it out at boxofawesome.com. And while you're there, you can get 10, 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code VALLEYCAST at that checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code VALLEYCAST, for 20% off your first box. Go get yourself a gift or maybe gift somebody else in your life a nice gift. It's a nice gift. That's a damn deal. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, really appreciate it. If you're listening, you can help uh, us and yourself by, by going to all of those links that we shouted out and trying it out. Okay. Back to the pod. Amen. So my topic 
if we're trying to stay on track in any kind of way in the show today, <laughs> um, is about a subreddit called Am I the Asshole? Have you guys ever heard of this subreddit? Oh, great. Great subreddit. Lots of honesty. Yes. I love it. Yeah, Perfect. So it's much the fun. fall guys of subreddits. It really is. That <laughs> yeah. that and um there's just a bunch of shit. R slash relationship advice. There's a bunch of good shit on Reddit. But um, you find a good one? My friend Alana Pierce nice had me on her podcast, Red Lips Orange Car, which by the way, you guys have an open invitation to care of Alana oh, Pierce, okay. friend of the show. And um, I've never I've never um I've never listened. What's uh what's it about? What's the podcast? What's it's, the what's the topics it kind of just goes through like craigslist and missed connections and like relationship stories from reddit and all over the internet and they just find like the weirdest stuff like when she had me on um recently uh the episode's up by the way it's called old guy looking for rub more maybe <laughs> and she was like go find some stuff on uh am i the asshole or craigslist or whatever and then bring it to the show and we'll just talk about it so i went to am i the asshole for the first time and it's just a treasure trove of amazing shit oh, and so what i did so for the good. show for our show for this one that you're listening to right now for free by the way daniel I've chosen one, two, three, four Am I the Asshole stories. I'm going to read the Ooh. titles of each of them, and you guys are going to choose which one I read to us, okay? Okay, that's fun. <laughs> it's so funny that you name drop Daniel. <laughs> 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 he's a good boy he's a great boy <laughs> daniel <laughs> daniel i don't even know if he listens to this but he's a good boy all right are you ready guys for these yes. titles i've chosen some articles here the first am i the asshole is am i the asshole for not wanting to knit my 16 female friend a sweater even though I knit one for everyone else in my group. Ooh. <laughs> scandal. Hard, Friend scandal. Hard yes, based on the title. All right. Friends, and here's I don't want one. any more information here's, about that asshole. <laughs> here's the next article. Am I the asshole for rigging a kid's talent show? <laughs> Ooh, that's fun. No, that's a that's a fun person. That that's a good person. Am I the uh, asshole? That's the, that's the level of conspiracy that I love. Here's the third one. Am I the asshole for suggesting a coworker should wear a diaper after she shit herself multiple times? <laughs> oh. no. Don't worry. Funny, this isn't. I got sad. Listen, this isn't about someone who's got. Like uh, an older person who might have uh, issues. This is about. It's about he, a younger person that these has are about, issues. This is a very a vandal. <laughs> this is about a vandal and a serial shitter. And finally, uh -huh. am I the asshole for telling my son to drop his fake Yorkshire accent? <laughs> <laughs> So there's your I choices, my most, friends. I think I'm most I no. interested in talent show. Rigging the talent show? I say talent show, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <clears throat> this happened during spring break in March 2019, yet there's still some people calling me out for it. Let me explain. <laughs> I grew up in a small country rural town with almost nothing to do, which I fled right after high school and moved to a larger city. I took my then eight And moved to an even smaller town, so it really felt like the where I came from was a place that I appreciated. And now I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I, I took my then eight-year-old over there for spring break last year to go see family. We heard that one of the local elementary schools was hosting a kid's talent show in a week where anyone aged four to 17 could sign up to perform. My daughter really loves to dance and sing. She has been training in ribbon dancing and ballet since she was four and performed six different recitals. Whoa. What a brag. Brag alert. Yeah. Seems like he's building a case here a little mm -hmm. bit already. 
Yeah, yeah two sides lips, to every story. Kind of two sides a little bit. Two yeah. sides to every story. So when she heard about this, she was all too eager to sign up. So she spent a week training and relearning her latest recital performance to use in the talent show. While she was getting ready, some relatives and friends tried to convince me to pull her out because she had an unfair advantage. I didn't know having skills and training was an unfair advantage, and I figured they were just jealous, so I ignored them. After all... Welcome to small town life, Dave. Yeah, exactly. After all, shouldn't the one who does best win? Anyway, she swept the talent show in her age category, 8 to 11, getting a 9, 10, and another 10 from the judges. Proud parent over here. Yeah! She ended Ooh, up. Oh man, ta- she got a talking to for not sweeping perfect tens. Though <laughs> she had to dance for seven hours straight after that performance. Yep. She, she, That's not crown level. That's barely passing slime. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's it. yeah. Well, you know, she's young, so there's still more programming to do. She ended taking home. She ended up taking home a cash prize of five hundred dollars, and the applause Damn. was roaring. Then, I'm feeling good. Like I, I'm like living vicariously through this win. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Then the next day, people started getting at me for rigging the talent show by putting in a skilled and trained pro against these kids. I'm guessing the friends and relatives from earlier might have had something to do with that. I made sure my daughter followed all of the talent shows ru- talent shows rules. And her performance just one. happened to be the most impressive. <laughs> I don't call that unfair. I call that earning the top spot. Am I the Boring. asshole? He is the Boring. asshole because he didn't read the sign correctly that said, this is a ain't got no talent show. And he put somebody <laughs> with talent in the ain't got no talent talent show and stole that $500 from that small town, from that, from that community. That, fi- that $500 could have went a long way in the local economy, and he took it out and brought it to his liberal metropolitan frickin' village. Yeah. He's a traitor. And stole it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a traitor. You well, know what would have uh, been a good I think good he's an move. asshole because he, he... Oh, go ahead. He's an asshole because he wasted all of our time with that. Like, he knows <laughs> yeah. he, he didn't rig the election. <laughs> Or rig the uh, for it. He didn't rig the talent show. He didn't do anything. He's just used that language so that he could then make a case for the fact that he didn't rig it. It was really clickbait. Yeah. He, he just did. wanted those up votes. Yeah, it's clickbaity. He wasted everybody's time. He waste, he's built. He's yeah. just justifying himself so he can maybe go viral. So he can send it to all of his friends. It's like it's like being like you. Be, it would be like if I got on there and was like, "Am I the asshole for betraying my friend for playing Fall Guys with my girlfriend?" And then I'd <laughs> read everything, and they would go, "Wait, that's objectively not betrayal. You just wasted all of our times." <laughs> Oh, 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 oh God. But that's a good point, right? <laughs> um Do you guys so do you guys want one more or do you guys want to move on? I mean, yeah, because yeah. that one was not a good one. I that one was, do, we chose wrong. Steve, you do the best one out of the th- I think you know which one's the best one. I mean yeah. I, I it, it's either the the diaper, the shitting themselves at work multiple times story or the telling my son to drop the fake accent. <laughs> I like that. I like the fake accent one myself. <laughs> All right, let's do the fake accent. Because <laughs> a kid walking around with a fake accent is so good. Look, if I, I already know where this is going. And look, if the kid was able to use his accent in impressions during that talent show, maybe he would have won and stolen it from that skilled dancer. Maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe he should have practiced. He should have practiced yeah. his accent. What if his talent show skill was he just does a good accent? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, governor! <laughs> all right, Dude, I know. Wait, right. we glossed over the fact that's pretty crazy. A five hundred dollar cash prize in a little small. The five hundred dollar part is the most interesting part of that. That's that. That's for some sure, nuts yeah. stuff. Dude, if I was that, and also, if money's on the line, and money's on the line, of course you got to be like. Yeah. You're not going to allow the skilled people in. Okay. Also, one more thing about this guy. Oh, training for a week? That's not that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would have trained for a week before a talent show for sure. Right. At least. Like, it's a nor. I would say a month, a month at least to train for something like yeah. that. He's like, she trained for a whole week. Especially it's not even that for much. kids. She- a talent show is a big deal. 
You got to train. I know what he's saying. There's a lot of parent assholes out there who don't who want to see their little you know, little stage but you stage know, hand moms or whatever they're called. But you know what would have been the pro move? I think is when he won. He should have been like, "All right, pizza for everybody. Let's go to the nearest pizza place, and I'm buying pizza." Right? With his daughter's five hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One hundred percent. Socialism. One hundred percent. That's social. That's his daughter. She didn't win that money if he hadn't had sex with her mom. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> her accomplishments are yours. <laughs> um, all right. This here. Am I the asshole for telling my son to drop his fake Yorkshire accent? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know how this sounds, <laughs> but please hear me out. My wife, 38, female, and I, 42, male, nice work. Gross. Have been living in a town in Hampshire for 15 years, and our eight-year-old son was born there. He went to a nice school and had good friends, but my wife was offered a new job in the north. We moved home and schools, and we are now living in a village in Yorkshire. It's nice enough, but run down in parts. Apparently, it used to be a mining village. The people are friendly, but over-familiar. The small towns, guys, they'll get you. <laughs> these, these are fun details. Like, this is like a, this is a book writer. <laughs> Yeah. My son It's also damp. <laughs> <laughs> My son came home from school a few weeks ago with a broad Yorkshire accent and seemed to be pronouncing his words incorrectly. For example, he would say rate rather than right and he dropped the h from words that started with that letter. <laughs> <laughs> there were other typical Yorkshire words and phrases too like summat and even more annoying, nar, when he meant now. <laughs> I told him to start speaking properly again, but my wife said he was probably trying to fit in at school. I explained to him that people would be his friend no matter how he spoke, and he seemed to fall back into his natural accent again for a few weeks until it started all over again. His Yorkshire accent seems quite forced anyway, so I told him to drop it, and he was quiet for the rest of the night. It's for his own good. Which is good. what you were asking for. It's for his own good, really, because people aren't taken seriously if they have accents like that. They sound coarse, and it's as if they lack intelligence, in my opinion. They He's are starting to sound a little bit like an asshole. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost like he wouldn't be friends with someone if they talked like that. Unlike what he told his uh, uh, his son. Listen yeah. to this, this guy. Sentence. Might be an asshole. You are nice. Pe <laughs> they are nice enough people in Yorkshire, but the accent is grating. My yeah, wife. An asshole. My wife has accused me of being a snob, but we've been, but we've always been complimented on our son's politeness and how he's spoken. Before, am I the asshole? Yes. Yeah. You're just kind of a dick, dude. Like, also, if you're, if that kid's young enough, he's going to pick up that accent anyways, if that's what he's surrounded by, like over the next 12 years before he leaves. Like, he's, he's young enough to be still influenced by the culture in which he's, he is uh, entrenched. Right. Yeah. And also, he's entrenched in a culture while then going home to his parents who are like, He's like, that's like a crazy conflict in his little head to have to deal with of all these people who talk a certain way. And then he goes home and his dad, his dad makes him feel like, crap don't talk like those assholes. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. And then goes, everyone's going to like you if you're just yourself, but you need to be the way I want you to be because I get compliments for it. And also I don't like it. those Fucking people because Elliot. yeah, I don't like those people because they talk different, but you need to talk the way huh. I want. Yeah, nice work, Elliot. Yeah. Great. analysis. be yourself as long as it's the self it. that I deem appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, good. He's analysis. not like make up some story about not rigging a talent show. Asshole. But he's definitely <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> all right well because you um, can you imagine as a kid you're trying to uh, do an accent and then all of a sudden your dad the person that's like you think is the coolest person in the world is like shut you can't do that anymore don't do that anymore that's terrible <sighs> i mean it, yeah and, and what also, do the people say in the comments also his, are they like yeah, yeah, every, yeah. The everyone's saying you're the asshole everyone's saying you're the asshole and your wife is absolutely right calling you a snob and shit like that everyone's just like 
you're you're out of your mind. You're ridiculous. <laughs> and also, uh, gotta gotta point out, Great. that's a fun ass accent. That's a good yeah. accent. Like that's like the Doctor Who episodes where I'm on board. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Nar. Um. All right. Well, well. Nar. You guys want to say goodbye, or do you guys want to do another topic, or what do you want to do? Well, I guess we'll say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you want to roll into the the business meeting without stopping recording? We can just go. All right. <laughs> Um, you guys, uh, if you're listening to this last week, we, we dropped two TV movie, movie games. Uh, we had some great guests, Kasim G, Timmy, uh, formerly Tim De La Ghetto, um, and, uh, James and Elise Willems from, um, Funhouse. And it was great. And I love them so much for giving us their time and you guys should, uh, give them a look, see if you haven't. Um, also, don't forget about the Valleycast channel on YouTube where you can see video versions of The Fundamentalists and The First Time Show. And that's a fun place to go to do that. If you're looking for your fix on people chatting about really interesting things like good television shows and philosophy. So if you're and into that say, kind of stuff, go over there. Elliot and Steve have been really pumping out some fun, fun stuff. And we know that that channel's a little less uh, frequented by some of you, but give it a shot because those are two very quality podcasts. They're fun and they can help fill your time. And they allow us to spread our our wings in a different way. And it's something that I agree. this whole thing that was built upon. And I, I want to see those succeed. So please go give them a shot. So Elliot, what was your last uh, fundamentalist podcast about? The next one coming up is we did one on socialism. So if I get canceled by the time this goes up, I am sorry. <laughs> so explaining socialism because Pete knows a bunch about Marx. And oh, that's I know great. He's actually read Marx. And I'm like, I yeah, let me know. But I don't know how coherent it actually is. But yeah, socialism, we did edit this complex. And then we're doing fascism after socialism. It's very fun. Wow. It's just lighthearted yeah. fun. Just silly stuff. Um, and then just Steve's silly lighthearted love stuff. Craft. <laughs> just, yeah. Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country with uh, Brett Register and Malcolm was on your last one. Alana's in there all the time. And I got to say, Heather and I watched episodes three and four, and I agree with your assessment now. It gets better because of those episodes. It's a really interesting show that is narrative from start to finish, and it's telling a connected story, but they're presenting it in uh, anthology Mm -hmm. uh, storytelling yeah. kind of way and it's very hard to pick up on it at first like you don't know what you're watching yeah. but then you realize oh these are, this is an anthology with a through line and it's crazy it's a weird yeah. way to watch okay, a, cool. a series that makes more that makes it make more sense <clears throat> to me because I've been like it's cool they're doing like a Goonies episode a Haunted House episode like this is all very fun and I get it and then I'm like well I don't feel it, it's jarring though yeah I, I think I if haven't gotten into like yeah, I think I think they're totally they're doing like mini anthologies, but also I think it's kind of like deep a deeper homage to uh, Love H.P. Lovecraft's like short stories because yeah. they were all short stories yep. essentially. So, um, yeah, you know, that I don't know, sense. that's cool shit. Uh, anyway, they weren't all short stories. He did some though, but he did a lot of short stories. Have you been watching the boys? Yeah, Ooh, I finished yeah. the three it's episodes. So good. It's so, so good. good. So good. It's, it's so it has it has no right to be so I know, good. It's I wonderful. Know. <laughs> it's visceral yeah. is the word that I uh, I attach to I, that uh, show. I, it's fucking visceral. Yeah, it's visceral is a great word. Yeah, yeah, totally. In so many ways. And beautifully shot and well acted and everybody's great. Uh it's so good. All right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for listening to the show. Please subscribe to the channels and consider becoming a patron to help support the shows. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And look forward to me being on the stream next time we're playing Fall Guys. Cool. Yes. Bye, Bye everybody.